what you think is shown here. This is the lumen of our nephron. This is the epithelium, that simple cuboidal epithelium of the um, tubules of the nephron, right? And then we've got our interstitial space, interstitial fluid, and a capillary. So what is being shown here? This is going to be reabsorption. And the mechanisms for reabsorption um, is what is shown. This is also called trans epithelial transport transport across an epithelium, just like we saw in the small intestine, for example. So the mechanisms sh shouldn't be too surprising. We've got tight junctions in between each of our epithelial cells, as epithelial cells often do. What this means is very few things can go in between the cells. That is what's shown here. So that's one mechanism for getting things across epithelial cells is paracellular, not gonna be our focus. Some water and other solutes can fit through, squeeze through that way. Typically, we wanna find a way to get things, again, transcellular. So through the cells, across. And some of these are gonna look very similar, the processes to what we saw in the intestines. So, you know, the apical surface um, is here and you know, the basolateral is here. Here's our capillary endothelium. And we are going to need to get things. So water solutes across two, what well, three, um, cell membranes. So here's transport across the apical membrane, diffusion across the cytosol, and then movement into the interstitial space that either occurs over here um, or through the basolateral side. We will mostly look at this pathway right here, which is very similar to what we saw in the digestive system. How does this occur? Well, it depends on the solute in terms of its chemical properties. So whether it can diffuse through the cell membranes on its own, like Na plus um, can not. <laughs> um, carbon dioxide, for example, something that can. It also depends on electrochemical gradients, right? So we've got to think about that. So we're gonna have active transport occur. Um, osmosis is the movement of water. And facilitated diffusion will also be important, right? We've got to have things, um, proteins that help, things like sodium be able to move through the plasma membrane. We also will have things like co-transport where things are moved through together 